How do we do this problem? Hmm. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is differentiate my given vector function. Now remember, you just differentiate in a component-wise fashion with respect to t. So you'll produce the following vector, uh, vector function. Okay, the next thing we want to do is evaluate f along our parameterization. Okay, so along our parameterization, x equals t, y equals t squared, z equals t cubed. So we take each of those components and substitute them in to f. Right, so we're going to get, um, what are we going to get? We're going to get t squared minus t squared. We're going to get t cubed minus t to the fourth. And we're also going to get t minus t to the sixth. Okay, so this will simplify. Alright, so that's our, our vector field f along c of t. So what we do now is take the two things we just computed and dot them together. That'll produce a real valued function of t, a scalar valued function of t, right? with the dot product of these two vectors here. Okay, so it's just the, dot, the following dot product. It'll produce some function of t. So what are we going to get? So the 0 times 1, 0, it's going to be 2t to the 4th minus 2t to the 5th plus 3t cubed minus 3t to the 8th. Okay, so it's quite simple now. We've done the computation. All we do is take this function and integrate it on the, the interval of interest. In this case, We'll integrate from 0 to 1. Okay, so easy integration, integrate with respect to t, you can just do that in a uh, fairly easy way. And you get 2 and 7 twelfths. So the actual computation of a, of a line integral is not that difficult because you reduce it through a parameterization down to an integral that you already know. Okay?